I served in the, uh, uh, what do you call it, the uh, Cold War. I came from India to go to college. And after I graduated, I decided to stay here. And I figured the best way to do is to join the Army to get help get this internship. And I volunteered for the Army. And I served about two years, just about two years in Germany with the 10th Mountain Division and another five and a half years in the active reserve of the 187th Infantry Combat Brigade. Now, they, they called it a cold war, but at the time it got pretty warm. <coughs> it, it was during the Hungarian Revolution that I was there back in 55, 56. And they activated us, didn't, didn't fire any shot, but we were right there. But we did used to sneak into East Germany, clandestinely, no uniform, no ID, nothing American on you. And you got captured. They don't know you. And that was a voluntary thing. I did it three times. And what that was for was if the Russians attacked West Germany, they would have to come through East Germany. And they would drop us off, you know, the halo jumps at night to see what route they would take to attack West Germany. So we used to make maps. I'm, I'm a civil engineer. I had a civil engineer degree at the time. So that's what we used to do. That was our mission. And they had the whole place mined out, you know, the minefields all over the place. You had to be careful. Well, you know, it was a voluntary thing, a macho thing to do. Oh, you couldn't pay me $10 million to do it now. At my age, I was 23, and the rest of the guys with me were 19, 20, 21. Two of them were from East, Eastern Europe, volunteers, and I was from India. So we had a, kind of a colorful little outfit there. One of our guys, um, he was sergeant, just made sergeant, uh, Fernandez, as we were going through this um, restricted area, you go under wires, you know, you crawl underneath. And he somehow decided to, um, he was getting cramped. So he did this and his butt in the air and got shot. <laughs> we had to drag him across, two of us had to drag him across. Well, I was pretty tough at that age, you know. I'm, I'm 86 now, I'm kind of frail. But at that age, you know, I was a pretty strong kid. Plus, you have, I guess you, somebody in the office volunteered, well, if he did, why can't you? You, see, you jump up. But in my case, I was a civil engineer to start with, and the Army had given me demolition training, so it came in handy. Closest that I ever came to a hot war during this President Kennedy's reign when he <coughs> thought we were going to invade Cuba, and they activated the outfit I was in, the 187th Infantry Combat Brigade, and we were ready to go. Bags packed, have packed, headed for the airport, and then of course the, no, gone down.